Have you ever been out at a bar with some friends or at a house party and you lay eyes on a woman you've never seen before? Now, this woman might not be perfectly the kind of woman that you normally find attractive. She may be a little too overweight. She may be a little too light-skinned. She may be the kind of race you don't normally aren't turned on by. But when you look at this woman, there's something that arouses deep inside of you. When you look into her eyes, what do you see? You see a wildness, something wild and untamed, and it turns you on so, so much. This is that woman's dark feminine coming out to play. Have you ever dated a woman who embodied sheer chaos? She changed her mind all the time. She couldn't stick to a schedule. In fact, she probably refused to have a schedule and wanted to organize dates at the very last minute. You were certain that her, her mind could shift all the time. In fact, you thought that she might forget about you in an instant some other interesting guy came along. Her sexuality was unbridled and she wouldn't hold on to it and restrict it only to you. You knew that you needed to leave her for some poor other sod to date. This is her dark feminine coming out and it is oh so scary. Us men have a very complicated relationship to the dark feminine. And it's about time that us men start working towards improving the quality of that relationship through better understanding. And what better time to start than now. So what is the dark feminine? It's a core part of every feminine woman alive today. It is the source of incredible creativity and creation. It is the source of unbridled sexuality to the degree to which no man can possibly compete. It is the source of chaos and it's capable of huge amounts of harm, especially psychological damage. It hates rules and it detests being told what to do. And most importantly of all, it is the beast that lives inside of every woman. But here's the catch. For the entire Western civilization's history, we have had a complicated relationship with the feminine. It both turns us on and it scares us. In fact, we have created religious systems. We have created laws that seek to suppress any expression of female sexuality. And what's more, through most of our history, what we've done is we've taken woman's chaos and, and flip-flopping changing of vines, and, in, in, and we've interpreted that to mean that a woman has a fragile and underdeveloped brain, and that she needs to be taken care of because she might fall apart at any minute. And yet, behind closed doors, away from the public eye, we seek to indulge the dark feminine. Prostitution has been a profession that hasn't died. It has never gone out of fashion. And prostitutes and strippers alike in modern day, they seek to indulge or at least mimic the dark feminine for the pleasures of men who don't want to admit it to the world that it's still a massive turn on. Victoria's Secret models don dark, musky eyeshadow in order to mimic and pull on the strings of men who are seeking the dark feminine. Indeed, many men go through life hoping to find a woman who is a saint in public and the devil in bed. And the biggest problem at all is that he'll never find her because that woman doesn't exist. You're either going to find a woman who is a saint everywhere, a woman who has suppressed her dark feminine so low that she doesn't even know it's there anymore, or you're going to find a woman who is a little bit dangerous in public and a little bit dangerous in bed. And so men have largely decided that all in all, for a long-term partner, they'd rather have a woman who is safe everywhere. And so most men end up with long-term partners who they feel lukewarm about. And they settle for this because the dark feminine is obviously evil, right? In a previous video, I've talked about the dark masculine before. About how it both scares and turns women on. But how for men, the most important thing is for us to embrace our dark masculine. For us to have our dark masculine with us at all times, but to be in control of it. Not to suppress it and feel ashamed of it. Modern day women right now don't realize that that is what they really want. And they often try to suppress the dark masculine. What they do is they try to shame men, right? Toxic masculinity. No man should think this way about women. Let's suppress it and make it disappear. But that's not what really women really want. They don't want those suppressed, uh, lukewarm men. They don't want a civilized man. 
They want a civilized savage. And it is the same in reverse for the dark feminine. Many men, many of you watching, have likely had a lot of pain in your lives from the dark feminine. You've been cheated on. You felt insecure. She's made you feel small. You felt a severe lack of control and it has scared you stupid. Literally stupid. And so what you start doing is you start demanding that women suppress that side of themselves. They suppress and feel ashamed about the very thing about them that turned you on the most, didn't it? Because weren't those women the most incredible in bed that you've ever experienced at the same time? No. What you should be pushing for in a partner is a woman who has a healthy relationship with her dark feminine. A woman who isn't ruled by the chaos of the dark feminine. Who could, a woman who is able to have her adult or her, her more civilized self step in and say, no, now is not the time for you, dark feminine. You'll come out later. A woman who is able to do that, who is able to let her dark feminine out when it needs to play and put it back down when it's not time. That's the woman that you should be pushing for because that is the woman who will make you feel alive. But the catch is this, guys. That woman will turn you on, but she will never date you unless you are closely engaged with your own dark masculine. And when you are engaged with your dark masculine and you meet a woman who's engaged with her dark feminine, both in healthy ways, you will have the most incredible, incredible bedroom life that you've ever experienced. And you also have the most amazing intimate life that you've ever experienced. You won't be quite as secure as you would be with a woman who had suppressed her dark feminine. But I'll tell you what, the result is worth it. My hope today is that by listening to me, I have lit a fire in your belly. I've made you feel, hmm, there's something about these women. I want a woman like this in my life. But yes, I don't want the pain. But I realize that I want both and I deserve both. And women are capable of expressing both. They're capable of being a tame, a civilized savage. A little bit scary, but not too. That's what you want in your partner. Are you willing to be man enough to date a woman like that? If today's video has made you aware of something that you've never really thought about before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my video, and talk about it in the comments below, guys. I think this is a really important topic. Dark masculine, dark feminine energy is an area where both men and women need a lot of work in modern day society. As always, if you've liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I reckon you'll probably like those as well if you like this one. As always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.